We are here in the Klinikum Traunstein. The Klinikum Traunstein is a hospital with a focus on specialized care, and it has approximately 550 beds. It belongs to the Southeast Bavarian Clinic Association. Here in Traunstein, we deliver between 1,600 and 1,700 babies every year. We're prepared to care for a premature baby around the clock. This means that we always have a baby Leo standing pre-warmed in the intensive care unit. From there, we transport the baby Leo together with the baby log to the delivery room. Then we have to switch from closed to open care, which is possible with the baby Leo, since when we open the hood, the radiant heater switches on. We know that heat retention, mortality and the risk of intraventricular hemorrhage also play an important role. With every degree of temperature loss, mortality actually increases by 30%. Once we have successfully completed the initial care of the newborn, we have to prepare ourselves for transfer. To do this, we must put baby Leo in closed care mode, unless this has already happened, and give baby Leo some time to heat up. Usually five to 10 minutes are sufficient. We also have to connect the infant to a ventilator, our baby log VN500 if necessary. This can be safely connected to baby Leo via a coupling, so the transfer can run smoothly. Before we actually start the transfer, we have to switch baby Leo off. Since the device was preheated, we know it can retain the heat to keep the infant stable for the length of this transfer. When we prepare the transfer from the delivery room to the neonatal intensive care unit, we make sure that baby log and baby Leo are safely coupled together. Usually there are three of us in the delivery room i.e. a neonatal nurse, an assistant doctor and a neonatologist, and three of us accompany the transfer. In general, we do not use a hood cover for transfer, so that we always have a clear view of the infant during this critical phase. We take care of patients in a very critical phase of their lives, and this is especially true when I think of the care of premature babies directly after birth. These children are incredibly vulnerable, and the outcome, for example, in terms of intraventricular hemorrhage, very much depends on gentle handling and a careful approach. Therefore, to minimize the amount of vibration and noise that the infant is exposed to is a challenge that we face during the transfer. The transfer in our clinic from the delivery room to the neonatal intensive care unit takes about five minutes. A problem is that we have to move from one floor to another. This means that we have to get into the elevator with all the equipment, which usually works well. During transfer, it is important that someone pushes the handles in the front and in the back. This is very simple with the baby Leo, since the ventilator is coupled with the unit, and thus one can move both together quickly and in one direction. When we arrive at the unit after transfer, the first thing we need to do is connect the baby Leo and baby log devices to the power supply and the gas supply. Then baby Leo starts up again and immediately resumes its thermoregulation function. At the same time, of course, we check the patient's condition. How is breathing? What are the vital parameters like? What is the temperature like? Baby Leo is a very modern device, which we have had for some years now. Due to its hybrid function, we can use it as an open care unit as well as a closed care unit. It offers features that are essential for the care of premature babies. Especially for small, sensitive, premature babies, it is very important that we no longer have to transfer these children from one therapy device to another, for example, from a labor and delivery unit to a transport incubator and then to an incubator on the ward. With Baby Leo, all this is possible with one device.